Good morning guys, how is everyone doing today? So today I have a little special video with my PS5 I have the M.2 Gen 4 M N B N E drive this 2280 this is called so it's the 1 gigabyte 1024 they say up to 7100 megabytes per second not much in the back here, yeah. just the model. Nothing, all this is writing here. Yeah. No design and specifications are subject to change without notice. Nothing in the sides. Have your picture here. Yeah. Future light. <laughs> and we got a heat sink. Let's do the heat sink. See what comes into it. This is a basic cheap heat sink. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two thermal pads. These are the 0 0.5 ones. Mm, no, I've got two drive thingy, so it's called metal. Yeah, it's a design there. Your tray, and then it's got solid metal. Yeah, this is the high performance radiator. So basically your M.2 goes here and it gets sandwiched in between with your thermal pads. So let us see this here. Oh, it's got the tape in the side there. That's it's locking. Let's see this here. So this I bought for the PS5. Normal PS5, the old fat model ones, my original one. And in a way, I didn't really need the space, but I had good reviews of this year. It's PS5 compatible, it's got a five year warranty, and a lot of people used it, no issues. So I said, let me try it out. It was 1400 Rand, South African Rand. This was 120 ish Rand. I'll leave the dollar figures for you as well. Little booklet of it, solid state, and got a so it comes with a screw. I'm sure that's to mount it to whatever, and a screwdriver. So that's nice. And we got the actual M dot V E sheesh. This is it. Now how the hell you open this thing? It's a plastic on a plastic. So there is it guys. Oh, this thing is light. One terabyte. Future PC IE 4.0 SSD. Damn, it's small man. There's it here. So this actually does have a built-in heatsink. I don't know if you can see it, but this is metal. There is a metal piece there. This is just your normal sticker. Do not remove this because of warranty. And you've got your tiny heatsink here. So it has a heatsink. So I don't know whether I should put another heatsink on it. And they say about the sticker, this is not a normal sticker for my research, I don't know. They actually say the sticker is meant to be kept on it. It's a different material. So you don't have to take the sticker out. And from the videos I watch, there's not much of a difference on with the sticker on. But it does have a heat sink, so I'm gonna do it's gonna transfer heat from the chips. To the heat sink and then it's going to go to the world so you put a bigger heat sink it's going to go somewhere else okay guys let me just get the ps5 and sort this out here yeah? okay guys so i've got the ps5 here yeah? so what i'm going to do first is i'm actually gonna put this thing here stick this over here and that and then so i'll just put the ssd in so give me a while and let me open this up by the time. So this is basically 
easy to open up. So what you have to do here, your disk drive must be facing up and you pull, you pull it down also, I think. Like that. So you just pull it down. Not that but dirty. I do clean it. So you need a little screwdriver. So you need a little screwdriver. Let's use this small screwdriver. Alright, so take this out, put there, take this out here, put there, and you need this here. So there's a little screw here. Okay, let's bring this here. You can see there's a little screw here. So you have to take that out. Take that out. This is really hard, man. And so screw comes out, and there's a little pin thing here. So you need to put that where your your M.2 is going to go. So this is the 80 model. So it goes here. Right. So it goes there. And I was wondering what I got this here. So when I clean this thing, there's different sizes of screws. So there's a medium one here, there's a long and a short. So I just labeled it future proof it. So guys, now this will go like this. Now, but I don't know exactly how far so. Let's see, right? So it goes. Oh, it's wrong side. Let's see, this is my first time doing this. You want the M02. So they say you put it like that. Alright, where's that thing now? Put it at an angle like that. And then it. Now I'm just seeing where to actually put this thing. So I got an idea. So if I put it like that, it will work. So it will go to the end of that there. Okay, so let me just double pad that thing up. Alright guys, so there is two sided tape here. So one, this just comes out easy. And then there's another one here. So you have to peel this thing out here. To peel it take it out like that and then you do that and then you can put this Jeez, this thing is not going inside uh, it is the exact size okay. okay let me just get this thing inside okay, right? all right so that's how it will be so that's for the bottom which will go here that will go there and your other one goes on the top of it it's finicky 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 so this goes on top of this here right so it goes like that so that's on the top and then you put this inside the tray so you put this in the tray like that and then it is done it's done then you need your top piece your top piece should just slide on top of this thing okay guys sorry about it this was a bit hard to get up i know some other ones they actually take screws but this actually is press fit so in these two corners there's like a little notch that this thing supposed to slide over but with this heck uh, some is built in it sinky thing here it was a bit tight so i had to squeeze it in but it fitted and it looks pretty nice so you basically, once your pin is there, you have to slide it in. Okay, let me just see. Okay, guys, so what I had to do, I had to look, I couldn't see properly in there. But there's an angle, you'll know it will slide in there. See, like this, slid in there. So now it's in. See, you should have this little, like, play. See? 
so inside there now let's see let's close that closes so once that is in there you can put your screw back don't over tight it so soon as you see now it's like hand tight a little bit more just to make sure and then it is secure m.2 you can tell i'm a newbie I have no idea what I was doing with this thing here, yeah. but it slid in nicely, it looks really nice too. And then you just put your normal stuff back. There's a plate here. I was playing the PS, so when I took this cover, you could feel this thing was hot. So somehow it is getting hot, I don't know. See, there's metal here. There's the heat coming up to that metal and going into here somewhere. Because it was Hot. So this thing is acting as some heat to me. And you put your big screw back. Alright. Put your big screw back there. And you put your plate back. So I played this goes Fix it to that. So what guys I'm going to TV now. Let's see how this puppy works. Okay, right guys, so I have the controller here. Let's see this thing turn on. There it is. To use the M.2, you need to format it. All data will be lost. If you want to continue, don't format, turn off. So you can't go past this here if you don't want to use it. So guys, please remember, if it's brand new, you don't have to worry. But if you got information, you cannot use it as both. It only works here, nowhere else. Even when you put it in those little uh, enclosures, they won't work. Format M.2 SSD. Let's see. The read speed of MNR2 is for if you spin it around in gameplay, install and try installing. This thing says it's 7100. It says 7100, but we're getting 645. Some lower ones, I've my research, they were saying, I think it was 5 something minimum, but it was going a little faster. But 64 is correct, yeah? Alright, let's see. Okay. You want it to be formatted, change the setting, go to there. Rebuilding database. Let's see. So go to settings. Storage console storage is two eighty five. We left to come with six six seven. So I got two eighty five left. Games and apps. Not much. Not that much yet. I, mean, I played more, but I deleted it. Sold those games off. Those were. I didn't really like the games for my collection anyway. But right now I'm playing Final Fantasy. Those are, I don't know, there's it right now. to 92 gigs almost. Mega Library, got M.2, HS, SSD, Future Light 1024. USB extended, I got a 1 terabyte USB. That it's just I don't know for what anyway, but I got it. <laughs> Nothing, zero. You can reformat it here, and you got installation here, PS5 games and apps, PS4 games and apps, PS5 games and app. We put M.2 now, PS4 games and apps. That we can, I don't really play PS4 games on this here. I got my pro there, which if you look. In the corner here somewhere you can see it it's there but um router so that don't have to really be worried and yeah that's it guys let's see how long it takes to move something let's see so i think you have to go here storage console storage games and apps and you choose select to move view game okay so select items to move 
Let's see, 21. So the M.2 got 976 gigs. So if you move that to available after moving. Hey, so this thing is giving me the correct. Let's see. Yeah, see, 1.2 terabyte. <laughs> this thing doesn't steal your things like that. SSD, normal SSD, your old fashioned mechanical hard drive. Okay. Yes, I said I moved as the total size. Let's see, right? So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to see. So, it's taking. <gasps> this is in real time, eh? We're talking in real time. No cuts, edit, nothing. It took, what is it, 17 seconds. So, it took. Let's just say 17 seconds. That was in real time. Oh, let's see this thing. Games and app one. So, click here, you can move it back. So, that is transferred to the M.2. And we have, let's see what it says. Yeah. Let's see what it says here. So if you click information, see installed M.2, it says installed M.2, and if you click here, it says information, console storage. So guys, that's the video guys, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Well, this was a little long video, normally longer than my other videos, but well, I was learning on this year as well, guys. So anyway, I'm out.